Hi and welcome back to another part of Elpic 4 103 Part 3 Perform Basic File Management Weight is 4 It's high, maybe the highest I believe And the reason is You will see lots of things Which you use on a daily basis You can see we have lots of commands here But they are easy And many of them are already known Or even well known to you copy move and remove files copy multiple files and directories remove files and directories recursively practically you know all of this <laughs> use simple and advanced wildcard i will talk about them but you know them use find to locate files and use tar cpio and dd so in this part we are talking about lots of commands but most of them are very very straight forward uh, let's start with wildcard and file globbing you know what is a wildcard it's a wildcard which you show and win all the hands it can play for whatever you want like a joker in card games you've seen this if you want to copy all files you say cp star to the temp this is a wildcard it does file globbing and it shows that I want all of the files in this directory. This is something interpreted by bash itself. So when, when you say cp a star to temp, before anything, bash will go and interpret this. It says, okay, so you mean a whatever string after that. After that. Then it looks into all the files and directories in the current directory and replaces this with all the ones which start with A. So A whatever or A itself replaces all of these and then runs this command. This is what bash technically does. You have different characters to create different gloppings. One is star means any string question mark means any single character so if you say move question mark to the temp any single character file will be moved if you use two any file with two characters will be moved or if you do move to the temp any files which is one character then end a then whatever character will be moved to temp or you can do like this a question mark b star so practically you mean whatever correct file or directory which starts with a then whatever character then b then whatever or nothing these all of these files will be moved this is how you can manage them as you have seen we use this a lot rarely we use this sometimes we use this this means a or b or c this means a to k both lowercase and capital case a to k and this means all numbers and letters so you can say copy file one two three to temp it will copy file one file two file three if exists to slash temp and nothing more you can say file one to nine a to z so file then one to nine a to z you had to go with zero to nine would be better and you have the not which means not x i have some samples here you can have a look you can say copy whatever which has three letters in it then a dot then whatever to the temp we use them time to time you will see later during all the lessons we are using this next commands are general commands which you are using ls is very well known ls it will show you all the files here we can do with ls dash one give switch one which means i want one column one file per line it will go like this 
something which is very common is LTRH. This means LS, show me the long format. I want the long format with all the data. Here, it shows you that this is a normal file. If you had a directory here, with MK direct and create a directory. Then if I do LS LTRH, you will see that this is a directory. This is a file. So L is long format. These are the permissions we will see later. This is the owner, group, size of this file, date, which is created, and the name of the file. So this is an empty file, size is zero. You can have an empty file, which is called empty file with something in it, for sure. This is the date, Jadi is the owner, Jadi group, and these are the accesses. We will see all of these later. So LS, L is for long, T is for sort based on the time, and R is for reverse. So the newer ones will be in the bottom. So we just created this directory. This is the last one. And H is for human readable. If you have a file, show it like 4K instead of doing like 496. Do human readable numbers, which is much cooler. So this is a very famous switches which you see. And next we have the copy. We have seen this a lot. LS, I can say copy data txt to slash temp. Now we, I have a copy of data txt. Data txt is still here and I can have another one on temp. You are learning Alpic. Nice. Cat data. These are the same. As a professional, if you want to check if they are exactly the same, you can do one of the hashing. For example, you can ch check some on slash temp data. Sorry. Ow. Temp data and data. And you can see that these are exactly same files. This part is same. This part is same. So these are same. This is how professionals check if files are same. When doing copy, you can do different things. As you saw, I can do a copy data txt on slash temp. It will be moved there. I can even give it a new name, new data. So now on temp directory, I have a file which is called new data and this is the data txt. The content is data txt. I can do cp data txt into the directory. On the second parameter, I'm giving it a directory name. So practically, the system sees that I have a directory with this name. So it copies this into this directory. This is how it works. I can say copy everything into the directory. And I can give it a switch like dash v, which is verbose. So it will talk. That A is copied into here. All files tarjz is copied here. Oh, cp-r not specified. So I'm omitting the directory when copying. Normally, you are only copying the files. If you want to copy a directory, now I have some files there. I cannot say cp directory to the temp. It says I'm omitting it because it's a directory. If I want it to work, I have to tell it do this recursively, recursively. Go inside the directory, copy whatever is here, here. So when I do this, it will copy all the directory and whatever is in it to slash temp. This is common sense. You don't need to memorize these things. It's a very common sense. The next one is move. It's like a copy, but it moves the file. So. If I do a move data txt to slash temp, now I have a data txt in my temp directory and I don't have a data txt here anymore. Let's check. Yes, it is moved. You can also say move whatever has underscore in it 
or whatever has underscore or a dot in it to the directory. Now everything with a underscore or dot is moved to the directory. This is not underscore, it's a normal dash. We can say move, sorry, move whatever in the directory here. Always one dot means here, two dots means previous directory. So now this is working like this. You can say also move info note to self and zeros to the directory. Move all of this inside a directory. But you cannot say move A and data to C because there is no directory as C and you cannot move two files into one file. Common sense. But you can say move B to my new B file. Practically, you are renaming it. You are rename, moving one file to another file. So this is how you should understand them. I have some notes here. If target is an existing directory, all sources are copied or moved into that target. If the target is a directory that does not exist, then the source must be only one directory if you are moving or one file if you are copying and it will be renamed or copied to a new name. Common sense. If target is a file, then source must be only one file. Easy and understandable. You can also copy directories with dash R. You've already seen it. But you can also move them. Move directory to new folder new folder doesn't exist so practically you are renaming directory to new folder cool and the last command is rm to delete files i have some files here i can rm one of them r can i can rm two it will give me an error there is no such file as a i've already deleted it but i've deleted this you can always do with dash V for sure. And it will be verbose. This time it was not different, but for example, if I also delete multitask, uh, empty file, you will see that it is speaking more. Cannot remove A. Even without V, it was saying this because it's important. Data cannot remove. No such file or directory. I've already deleted it. But empty file, because dash V is mentioned so i want a verbose command it says removed empty file one point is you cannot remove directories you cannot say mkdir test i created a directory called test i cannot say rm test because it is a directory rm cannot delete directories you have a command for that which is rm dir test this will delete only empty directories. But many people use uh, rm to delete directories. What they do is they say rm recursively delete this. So it will delete whatever is in it and itself. This is a very common mistake that people say rm-r here. They will delete whatever is in directory or worse than that, this. Delete whatever from the root directory and do everything. Worse than that, having a sudo. So you are doing this with root access. Worse than that, adding an F for force. Force the delete, whatever doubt you have. You saw something. Let me show you again. Touch can create files. Ah, this was a mistake I was talking about. Instead of control, I gave it the enter. But luckily, it asks for the password. <laughs> so, touch can create files. I touch a file called A. I touch a file called B. Now I can copy A to B. It is overwriting B without asking. If I would say dash I, I would say, please do this interactive. It is asking. Do you want to overwrite B? Yes. Now it is overwriting. 
this can be a different configuration based on your distribution you can see normal users are open in ubuntu are overwriting by default so when i'm saying the copy a to b it just writes a on the b although b exists if i want to prevent it i have to say dash i do this interactive ask me sometimes systems are configured to not to do this and ask in that case if you give it a dash f you are telling it force don't ask me force whatever you can so these are two different configurations dash f forces dash i is interactive dash p is backup right over it but keep one backup and dash p is preserve the attributes if the b exists and have some attributes some owner whatever preserve them these were the move so now you know the copy cp mv for move and rm for remove and we know that rm doesn't remove directories if you want to do that you have to do rm-r directory name and recursively delete everything there and at the last thing in this part let's see mkdir and rm rm dir although you have already seen them mk make directory my folder you are creating a new folder mkdir folder a folder sorry let's do like this folder b folder c what i'm commanding i'm telling the system to create a directory called folder c inside folder b inside folder a but these do not exist so if i run this i will get an error it says cannot create directory no such file or directory this is not exist so i cannot create this if i want to do this the proper switch is dash p i'm telling it create parents so i'm saying it telling it create folder c inside this inside this and if needed create the parents and as we've seen to delete a directory i can say rm dir mk dir rm dir my folder it will delete this folder but i cannot delete folder a let's see rm dir folder a it says fail to remove folder a directory not empty rm dir can only remove empty folders so if i want to delete it most of the times i say rm rf folder a then i'll look into it i'm sure i write it correctly nothing is dangerous and i said yes so this is how you create folders and how you delete folders let's go for the next section in another video not to make this too long and talk about touch and maybe 